much for Bratzi. It's a pleasure. I ain't, had, I ain't had a chance to speak to you since um, you've done what you've done, you've achieved what you've achieved. Tell me about what it's been like since you turned pro. Um, it's been a lot Took your time. time. Took my time, you're right, but it's been a lot of time in the gym. Um, before I could go to the gym, be in and out, and then I'm all good. But now I'm spending hours in the gym. I go into the gym and I come out and I cancel all my plans after because I'm too tired. But um, it's what it's what I'm doing. It's like my job now, so so be it. But yeah, it's just longer hours in the gym. So tell me about your ambitions as a head, you know, as a as a headweight, as a professional. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a while before you skip up to heavyweight. Um, as a professional, right, right now, I might be a heavyweight because it's a couple of days after my fight. I've just been eating, recovering, letting the body heal. Um, my, amb my ambitions, sorry, is to, um, by January, is to, f is to have eight fights within a year. So by July next year, I should have racked up eight fights minimum, hopefully. Um, absolutely all wins. I'll still be undefeated. My ambitions, as it goes, I'll say I take it fight by fight. Um, my next fight is my next target. So October the 7th, that's my next goal. That's my next aim. That's all I'm thinking about. And then after that, I think of the next one and the next one. So I don't really look ahead that much, in a sense. Um, I take it fight by fight. I guess I guess what I'm after is an insight into the bigger picture. Because yeah. the, the, the fact that you took so long to make the decision before you turned pro, I'm assuming says a lot about the type of person you are. Measured thinker, yeah. uh, really assessing all your options out there. Um, so when you painted that picture about that was going to take you to that utopia, that place, that successful place of all those belts around you, how long did that take? And uh, you've mentioned eight fights in a year. I'm assuming the matchroom ways to get you up and down the country, expose yeah. you to as many people yeah. as possible. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get a gauge on, would it be 2018 or 2019 before you're fighting for that world title? I, I, I know that the British, the Commonwealth and the Europeans and all of that have to come before that. Yeah. But am I on the right timeline here? I would say that I would love to be world champion in my next fight. I would love to be, but everything's about timing. I couldn't tell you what's going to happen in the next minute, so I can't definitely tell you when I'm going to be world champion. What I can say is I definitely will be world champion, but is there a time limit on it? Is there a time frame I can give? I'd say no one can, but um, the timing will be right. And I always say this to people, the Olympics came for me at the right time. Everything I did was to plan for that, and when it came, it was the right time. So, hopefully, when that opportunity comes, it'll be the right time for me, my team, and I'll take it. You mentioned the strain, the strains on your body. Um, I guess away from boxing, how's your life changed since the Olympics? Since you embraced the professional ranks, how's your, how's your 24 hours shaped differently than it was before? It shaped a lot different. I must, I must admit, I'll say more time in the gym again because now I know there's expectations and people are coming and they'd want to get me, you know, they'd want to be able to say, do you know what, I beat Joshua Bratzi. So I'm just spending more time in the gym trying to improve on the skills, um, make sure when I get in the ring I'm 100%, I'm fit, I'm good to go. And um, yeah, the 24 hours is a lot of time, but sometimes it doesn't feel like it. But I'm just trying to make sure I'm fit and ready to go. It's boxing that got me here. It was the main thing. It wasn't by, I don't know, clubbing or being seen at events. It was spending time in the gym, so I need to keep that same focus and hopefully um, the 24 hours will extend for me. Tell me about some of the inspirations you have inside and outside of the sport. Who gets you going? Who inspires you? Um, what gets me going, I would say the most important thing is knowing that if I get into a position of power or if I get into a position where I can do things what I would say inspired me is to be able to help people that are less fortunate than myself. Because I think we live a good life in this country. Everything's blessed. Everything's cool, like no stress, no nothing. So to, to know that other people don't have what we have, if I'm able to give to them or to help them, that would be a good thing. And that's what inspires me. And of course, my family, the people that are close to me, to make sure that we're all cool, make sure everyone's all right. But um, it goes past that, yeah. Good unit of fighters around you as well. I see some of the conscious things that you and Anthony Joshua are doing. You're here to support Joe. You guys come through together. Um, talk about that. Um, my, what, the influence of your peers on you, your boxing yeah. peers. Um, it's good, you know. I think what, what I want to get clear is that when it's all said and done, Josh has set a path that if a boxer is to stand in and be like, ah, oh, you know, nah, nah, I don't want to do what Josh has done, they're lying because... He's unified heavyweight champion of the world in what, three years? So what boxer wouldn't want to do it that quick? 
Do you know what I mean? So salute to Big Josh. He's done what he's had to do. And for me, I see what he's done and I say, do you know what? It's realistic. So it's something to aim at. It's something to try and do. So um, in that sense, it's all positive around me, um, what Big Josh is doing. And also other boxers, even some boxers that don't box at this level, I respect them for the grind and the efforts that they're putting in. I respect every boxer, everyone that's putting in effort into doing something. I highly rate that. It doesn't even have to be boxing. Not everyone fancies getting hit in the face, but I rate people that have to sit in an office nine to five. I couldn't do that. So um, I have to rate everyone for what they're doing. I rate you guys for what you're doing too, man. Respect. Out here interviewing people. <laughs> Respect. Appreciate it. It's not my type of thing, but yeah. you're out here on your own grind as well. Yeah, definitely. Helping for a long time too.